Hello. <coughs> what we have here is a brand spanking new um, LED DMX par cam. Um, and it doesn't work. Um, now, if I plug this into my lighting rig, um, the anything in the DMX network after this unit ceases to function, which leads me to believe there is a problem on the DMX decoder side of things. So let's run a check on that. Uh, first things first, let's inject a DMX signal, which I have on this handy lead. That's our DMX in. Now, this is uh, DMX protocol is um, essentially the same as RS485, and DMX in failure mode or switched off should simply pass the signal through um, from input to output so that everything else in the chain still works. So let's have a look shall we. <coughs> so switch the scope on and grab the leads. Ten. Okay, um, so we want pins two and three for the DMX signal. Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's just check the uh, check. We've actually got a DMX signal on here. Oh yeah, there's our signal. So it's completely open circuit by the look of this. Um, could run a continuity check on this. Just to make sure. Sorry about that, customer on the phone. So yes, uh, where was I? Yeah, so we've got continuity on ground, but nothing on um, on the data lines on pins two and three. So that's completely open circuit, <coughs> which hopefully is going to be quite easy to fix. Um, let's have a look. The first thing that springs to mind is that this is going to need some work to make it uh, make it safe. There's no earth. Um, the wires are the wrong colour for a start. <laughs> um, 
yeah there's no earth, it's a metal chassis um, and it needs to be earth uh, so it makes this a class 1 appliance um, but that's only where that's on the power supply side I know that one that works ok even if it isn't particularly safe right let's, uh, let's inject the signal again and we'll go back to the scope see what we can see on here we have a signal. That's good. So let's start out of the back of the plug. And on the socket. Nothing. Let's check on the board. diminished signal between the actual conductor and the pad on the board and I can see that the pad hasn't been soldered on this side it's a double sided board but it hasn't been soldered on this side just check the other way around Yeah, absolutely nothing on the board. So I think if we solder those pads there, we should be good to go. Um, I don't think I need to take the, uh, take the board out for that. Well, but I will. So I want to check the underside. If we've got one soldering problem, we've Probably got more. Okay, let's hide this board out of here. you can see that but this this socket here has been hand soldered it looks like a, a repair has been attempted before if this socket has been replaced or someone's just tried resoldering that on that side but hasn't done it on this side okay right let's get to work on that and let's have the soldering up Fairly really hefty conductors there, so I'll have that solar on up to 400 Celsius. And let's clean up these pads. So, just a, an ISO pen, so isopropyl alcohol on there, just to clean off any grease around there and around the conductor. Get nice and clean. Um, using lead 
get solder here. And we'll get some solder in here. Fly to that pad there. Okay. It really doesn't want to flow onto that pad. Uh, let's give that a clean up. Sure, these are okay. I'll clean this up over here. Don't want to leave um, solder flux on the board. Um, not just because it looks untidy, but it can also hide. Not so important here because the the pads are quite far apart, but it can also hide little little solder blobs. They'll short out, not necessarily immediately, but if the board gets hot and the the flux melts. And the balls of solder rolling around on your on your PCB and you, you don't want that. Okay. 
down to here. Okay. Right. Let's see if we have a signal now. Let's switch on the scope cam. It's not much of a signal. Okay, I've um Removed the uh, the two sockets here and had a look at the board, top side of this board here, and where it's been attempted to be repaired before, the entire track from uh, pin three here to pin three here, uh, well, the entire track, about a quarter of the track, is completely lifted off the board there um, and has been discarded. It's not in the case. It's it's nowhere to be seen. So that has been lifted off. There's a lot of scuff marks um, on the, on the uh, solder resist um, doing some damage to the tracks underneath there. Um, I've soldered the uh, sockets back in and I'm going to put a, a bodge wire across from pin 3 here to pin 3 here so that we have some continuity. Um, pin 1 to pin 1 is OK. Uh, as is pin 2 to pin 2. So there's, um, there's nothing in between on there, so a bodge wire should, uh, should solve the problem. So let's bodge away. Get a bit closer for the insulation. I've had a word with the supplier, and they're going to send me a new, a new decoder driver board for this. So this is only a, a temporary solution.
secure enough. Looks make sure we've got no shorts on there. Yep, nice shiny solar joints. Oh, that was a nasty, nasty little fix. Um, quite how this got sent out again after clearly being returned to the supplier, um, I have no idea. Uh, doesn't look good for them. Um, because this is uh, this has undergone, undergone some quite nasty butchery in the past. So attempting to effect a repair and then leaving me to bodge what they've left. Um, like I say, it's only a temporary fix. And uh, when I get the uh, when I get the new decoder driver board, I shall replace this. And at the same time, I think I'll. Uh, I'll put some earth strapping in and the correct um, correct mains cable because this uh, this twin cable here um, in a metal enclosure with the electronics not double insulated is is not safe. Um, so I can't use these lights <coughs> in a commercial environment. I'm only going to be using them for my uh, my daughter's wedding reception, but um, I'm still going to make them safe before I do that because I don't want any of the uh, the guests coming along and touching one of these if it goes into failure mode with the uh, live touching the case and uh, getting killed. That might uh, that might ruin the entire afternoon. So I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it was a bit messy, but. Uh, that's the way things go sometimes. Thanks for watching.